why I want you guys to draw here, not in the very center or in the very corner up there. Why I want you guys to draw the figures, the object here. Who knows? You can take a guess. Do you know? No, right? So now we're going to learn a little bit about this. I call it magic point. Okay, remember magic points. So Amanda, I can see you. Okay, perfect. Today we're gonna learn a new topic, golden section ratio. You may heard it before, you may not, but don't worry. So this is the formula about that. It's A plus B is to A as A is to B. You don't have to like really understand how it works, but just keep in mind, and this is the way they find out the golden section ratio. And they use this formula to create this spiral line, you see, right? The spiral line and into very smaller, smaller, like getting smaller, the area there. That's the good golden section ratio point. But this one is really hard to memorize and we don't understand why they do this, correct? So hard to understand? Let's say hi to magic points. I usually call it magic point. What's magic points? Da -da -da -da. Look at the four right stars. Remember that? You see the four right stars in the middle, lower left, middle, lower right, middle, upper left, and the middle, upper right. And we use the diagonal line to connect the corners of a rectangle and use another line to cross it. Then you see a 90 degree here, right? Always keep it 90 degree. That's why when you change the length of the rectangle, it always change the points, but almost there. So it's hard to re remember. Then we're gonna do this. You see the four red circles? Can you see it guys? Mm -hmm. Right? Okay. Yeah. And I, I wrote down like middle, upper left, middle, upper right. The very center is the cross parts is here. It's over here. And you see this four parts we call magic points. Okay. If I ask you, where is the magic points? You can say, you can remember that middle, upper, left, right, or middle, lower, left, or right. Right? So usually we draw our main object over there if you really want your audience to see it because it's this point it really draw people's eyes in. That's why. And why people believe that magic points actually matters. We're gonna check it out together, okay? Let's see. Anika, can yeah. you tell me, can you tell me what you see as the first sight? At the first sight this, for this picture, what you at see? At first I see a wave and then I see the spiral. Perfect. You see a wave first, all right? Uh-huh. You see the wave is follow the spiral direction and go upper and the curve back, right? So mm -hmm. that's why you see they paint this exactly on the magic points. That's why we, the first sight we see it. It's really magical, right? Mm -hmm. you see? The second one. Samantha, what do you see for the first sight? I don't get it. It's I can hear you, honey. A dog. a dog, yes. A woman is walking her dog, right? Actually, the foreground, girls. Olivia. Yeah. What's in the foreground of this picture? Foreground. Um, the chorus to you. A dog yes, right? and a man walking in. Yes, perfect. But why? Like, the, you see the car is pretty big there, right? But the first yes. side of Samanda, I see a dog and a woman. Why? Because they're on the magic points. You always see that points when you watch a picture. That's really magical. Magic. Right? You know yep. Perfect example again. You see the man, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. It's surfing. It's surfing. It's surfing. And we automatically see him there. Oh, yeah. 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 That is the consequence. That's the result. Objects are magic points. 
of a picture always can draw people's eyes in, right? So if you want to draw something, show your audience, just keep in mind, maybe you can find that magic points and draw something there, right?